It's coming up. Technology is amazing. Technology is amazing, isn't it? What's going on? Let's see hey. how we're doing. Yep, we're live. Let's see. We're on right now. So everybody, grab your phone and share it to your Facebook page. She's doing that. Oh, wait, so you're that? just doing it on your you, Can you do that? Yes, you can. Yeah, do it. I just, just started a watch party. Yeah, watch party on that page. Okay. Not on our page. It's just a watch party. For good Is it Friday. considered a watch party or? Um, just on your face? I'm just face. sharing it on my Facebook post. Oh. You do group or just start? No, um, just. And I just started. To be on my page. Yeah, that's fine. all right what's going on everybody hope everyone hey. is tuning in right now happy good friday yes. to everybody tuning in what's up pastor rob what's up pastor latricia hello hello, hello everyone happy hello. good friday yes what's up alana alana thomas is online oh. with this morning, yes. this evening, I'm so used to doing it every morning. Every morning, so it's evening yeah. time. <laughs> so, guys, we're so honored that you're joining us uh, today for our short Good Friday special Facebook Live. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're gonna have a worship. We're gonna hear a short encouraging word, and then also we're gonna take communion together. We have Pastors Robert and Latricia Trice all the way from Relevant Grand Rapids. We were thinking, hey, listen, we're just one big family. Why don't yes. we just do this together, right? Right. Yes. yes. <laughs> you guys can talk. You know that, right? <laughs> yes. yes. I was excited to um, reach out and said, man, let's just do this together. Pastor Muta was like, that's exactly what I've been thinking all day. Yes. So great minds think alike. You know, like you said, with family, uh, it's a time to come together. And technology is absolutely amazing that we can do it like this. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. And Absolutely. then we have none other than the amazing Alana nice. Thomas from Road to Life Church in St. Joe, Michigan. Incredible worship leader. And so she's going to uh, lead out in a couple of songs. Um, and we just encourage you guys to worship with us yes. tonight. Um, right there, if you know the songs, sing along. If you don't know the songs, let them just kind of wash over you and just uh, fill you with God's love and his grace as we spend a little time together for this Good Friday Live. So can I get us started with some prayer? And then Alana, you, you'll go ahead and take it away. Got it. All right, so let's pray. God, thank you so much for your faithfulness. Thank you so much for your kindness. Thank you so much on this Friday, we get to celebrate the amazing sacrifice by Jesus. Jesus, thank you so much for loving us enough, for being uh, willing and coming to give your life on our behalf. Jesus, we celebrate you tonight. We give you honor tonight. This whole weekend is about you. Every day is about you, but specifically, this is a special weekend where we can commemorate your sacrifice and your resurrection. So thank you. For everybody who's tuning in right now, Lord, uh, just fill us with your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, I'm unmuted. Awesome. <laughs> You were the word at the beginning, one with God the most high. Your hidden glory in creation now revealed in you. What a beautiful name it is, what a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is, 
Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is of Jesus. You didn't want heaven without us. So Jesus, you brought heaven down. Yes, you did, Lord. My sin was great, your love was greater. No, oh, what could separate us now? What a wonderful name it is! What a wonderful name it is! The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a wonderful name! Now 
so much alana thank that was so much, amazing that was beautiful Hold yeah. on, I gotta thank you so much thank you. So, so good yes. so good yeah. thank you so much for joining us tonight god bless you i thanks know thanks for having you, me this is a absolutely, blessing absolutely i know you've got some things to run to so everybody <laughs> say peace alana give her a big shout Hi, out alana. Thank you. Peace, 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 alana. Peace, everybody. god bless you love you guys bye me too bye Oh wow, that was that was awesome. That was awesome. And I feel honored tonight. First of all, it's Good Friday, number one. And uh, secondly, I get to give God's word. I get to share God's word yeah. with you guys. And that makes me excited. Come you on. Excited? I'm excited. <laughs> well, I'm looking at you, so you I'm look, excited. You always excited. I'm always me. excited when I'm <laughs> looking at that face. Well, I um I <laughs> I, by profession, I am a teacher and I was a third grade teacher and in the third grade, it's so weird because mm -hmm. that is when you're introducing so much new concepts to the kids. They are learning multiplication at the time. They're learning so much different English and grammar and conjunctions and prefixes and all that stuff. And what I remember teaching is conjunction. Now, I didn't care to teach English too much. <laughs> I, I'm a math girl, so I really love math. But I, I remember teaching conjunctions um, and trying to explain it to the kids what conjunctions were. And the, the two main conjunctions, well, the first one is the word and. And what conjunctions are, they bring two independent clauses together as one, right? And so I always remember the, the very first one, just because it's one that is very common is the word and. Mm -hmm. And when I think of the word and, I think of the, the cross yeah. because it's a plus. I remember uh, being very young and you have a crush on somebody and whether you wrote it on the desk or you, you carved it in a tree or carved it somewhere else, you put your name plus the other person's name, That's Muta right. plus Christine. And right. those two were become one. And so as I look at the cross, I see it as a conjunction. I see it as the word and. 
because what happened was when Adam and Eve sinned, it broke the, the relationship. It broke yeah. the union right. between God and humanity. That's right. And the cross, that sacrifice is our and, it's our conjunction that allows God to be, re well, allows humanity yeah. to be reconciled with God. So it brought those two together. So yeah. I see that as, as the, the joining, the bridge that, that breaks that gap yeah. between God, our heavenly father and humanity who has sinned. Mm -hmm. But I don't just look at the word and, the next conjunction that is highly used beside the word and is a, the word but. Mm. Now, this conjunction is a little different because it doesn't join two to become one. What this one does, although the sentences become one, mm -hmm. it cancels out the first part of the sentence. So if I said, I'm going jogging, but I tripped, I'm no longer jogging anymore because I fell down, Yeah. right? Yeah. And yeah. I see the cross also as the conjunction, but because it cancels out what Satan thought he won. Yeah. It cancels out our sins. It cancels, yes. cancels out our transgressions, Yes. right? So I see the cross as the conjunction, but because it cancels out. Yeah. And the Bible even says it better, better than me. If you look in Ephesians chapter two, is where I'm going to go because that's one of my favorite areas. It, it has, it, it joins two sections in the paragraph. It's very dark. And then there's a very light section. And I'll just read that starting from verse one. It says, and you were dead in the, in your transgressions and your sins in which you once walked following in the course of this world, following the prince of power, of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in the passion of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, like the rest of mankind. But God, Come on. like that, but yeah. I'm seeing that, yeah. that God yeah. allowed his son, Jesus Christ, to be inserted in this section. He mm -hmm. says, but God being rich in mercy because of the great love with which he loves us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. Yeah. By grace, you have been saved and raised up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places with Jesus Christ. Yeah. So that in coming ages, he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness towards Christ Jesus. For by grace, you have been saved Come on, through it. faith. And this is not your own works or your own doing. It is a gift yeah. of God, not a result of works so that no one may boast. For we are his workmanship yeah. created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in it. And that is so beautiful because it brings such a darkness at the beginning, how we were disobedient, how we were disobedient, how we were in sin, but God. And when God sent Jesus Christ as that conjunction, as that cross to reconcile humanity to himself, he has given us, it says in verse eight, it's a gift of God. But who gets a gift and doesn't open it? Mm -hmm. First of all, number one, you have to receive that gift. Yeah. Number two, you have to open it. And it just, it shouldn't just sit there getting dusty on a on a, a couch or on a on a shelf. Are you opening the free gift of God and using it? Yeah. So that but God, those two conjunctions, I just want you to remember on this Good Friday yeah. is and. Jesus Christ is our end. He is our cross. He is bringing God and humanity back together. But I always want you to also remember the second one that is as important as and is but 
but God. It will cancel out our sins. I know Satan thought he was victorious, but God. I know we go through struggles, yeah. but God. Yeah. I know I am struggling and I feel weak, but God allowed Jesus Christ Hallelujah. to give me strength. Hallelujah. I know I, I feel like I can't make it on my own, but God is my provider. I know I am stressed and anxious at this time yeah. during this season, but God is my peace, and yeah. Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. So today on Good Friday, I want to ask you to allow God to, to intercede, to be that conjunction, to be that and in our lives. Yeah. But I most want you not to just allow him to be that and that brings God and humanity together. I want him to be that but that cancels out what you thought that you were carrying. Allow Jesus to carry all your burdens. Let it be in his hands. He is our everything. Absolutely. Yeah. What a word. Yeah. So yes. powerful. Such a great reminder. Oh my gosh. So good. So good. So good. Girl, wow. you, you cute wow. and you can preach. Good luck. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh wow. I'm just I'm I'm so overwhelmed by it right now. So overwhelmed. Thank Guys, you. Guys, let God be let Jesus Christ be your and and your butt. Yes, yes. That's what he came to be for us. Yes. And on a time like this, on a night like this, there's no greater time than to hit that reset button mm -hmm. and have the opportunity to engage in a time of communion, a reminder of everything that Christ has done for us. And yeah. Pastor Robert, you have the opportunity tonight, please, to lead us out in communion. Amen. Thank you. Thank Amen. you so much, Pastor Christine, for that powerful message. Um, you you delivered that as skillfully as only a teacher could do. Uh, thank you for the <laughs> English lesson and the the, the uh, such a clear understanding of what the cross means and what God means. The and and the but. I'm gonna preach that. That was good. That was good. That was so good. So um, I'm excited because I get to uh, facilitate communion. Mm -hmm. If you're watching online and you want to take communion with us, um, grab yourself a cracker, a piece of bread, uh, grape juice, wine, some kind of juice. Um, and we want to come together and partake in what we call as believers, the Lord's Supper. Mm -hmm. um, before Jesus, the night before Jesus was taken away, uh, by the soldiers to be crucified. He sat with his disciples and he took bread and he broke bread and he passed it and he took wine and he poured it and he passed it and he told them to take the bread. He told them that the bread represents his body, which is broke, which is torn for them. And the blood, uh, the wine represented his blood, which was shed, which was going to be shed for them. And he told them, as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. And us as believers, we try to do this as often as possible. Um, and this week is Holy Week. And we started out the week with Palm Sunday, the day that Jesus rode into Jerusalem on the donkey. And they were crying out, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed be the name of the Lord. And this was the week leading up to uh, his crucifixion. Um, and then we had the day in which he did this, which would have been yesterday in, in the week of the Holy Week. And then tonight being Good Friday, actually the day that Jesus would have died for our sins. So we're coming together as believers across the, the, the internet airways yes. and all over the internet to partake. And if you are ready now, we would ask that you would take your, your cracker or your bread uh, and, be able to, and be able to take communion with us now. Take it now. And uh, like like God said, He said, "This is my body, which was which was torn for you, broken for you, and you can take and eat it now." And as we do this, we think about the sacrifice that Jesus made for us for our sins. We think about the beating that He took, the crown of thorns that He wore, the nails that pierced His hand, the sword that pierced His side. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. And then He took and He poured wine and He passed it, and He told him to drink. And that we're partaking in the suffering of Christ, that we would take and drink of it. And if you have now, you can drink it now. Thank you, Jesus. And that's the shed blood of Jesus Christ that washes away all sin, all the sins of mankind. We just partook, the Bible says that we're partaking in his suffering. We're doing this to remember 
uh, the sacrifice that Jesus made on the cross, that remember uh, why he died for our sins, that we would never, ever forget the cross. Thank you, Jesus. Honey, can you, can you pray for us? Yeah, before we um, end out in prayer, we want to just take a moment to thank God. Yes. He is so good. Yes. He is so worthy. And so drop your comments. Let us see what you're thankful for. Yes. I know that I'm thankful for life. I'm thankful for salvation. Let us know what you're thankful for. So let's just take a moment and start dropping your comments on what you're thankful for. let us know what you're thankful for yes we love to be able to engage on social and uh, to interact let us know uh, what 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 communion means to you what does good friday mean to you mm -hmm. uh, what was the, the what does the cross symbolize for you the sacrifice that was made for you thank mm -hmm. you jesus all right so we're thankful for family and church and health and provision. Yes. Heather is thankful for time with her family. Yes. Amy is thankful for family. Yes. Linda is thankful for her health. Yes. Tara is thankful for his love for me. Yeah. She's thankful that no one can take God's love away from her. Yes, Dustin you. is thankful for eternal life and salvation. Yes. Jose is thankful for his church family. Amanda is thankful for God's grace. Yes. Yes. And Victor says, I'm thankful for his mercy. Vicky, Vicky. Vicky is thankful for his mercy. Norm is thankful that the blood has set him free. Yes. Yes. Testify, guys. Zach is thankful for family, health, and the privilege to be at an awesome church. Yes. Yes. Tara is thankful for God's love and the growth that she's experienced. And Sarah is thankful for technology that brings us all together. Yes. So no matter where you're at or where you're from, we can come together and we're connected by his spirit. Isn't that amazing? Yes. I know I'm thankful for that. So let's go into prayer. God, I just thank you, Lord. I thank you, God, for this opportunity to gather, Lord. I thank you, Father, that we are not alone, Lord. There are churches all across the world that are taking time for good, on Good Friday to celebrate you and to thank you for what you did on the cross, God. I thank you, Lord, that you didn't have to do it, Lord, but you did it for us, God. And I thank you. Thank you, Lord, that because of what you've done on the cross, Lord, that we can have eternal life, God. And Father God, I ask, Lord, that you just bless this weekend, God. So I pray, God, Lord, for every person that will um, hear about the gospel, Lord, that they will receive you in their heart, God. Yes. Father God, I thank you, Lord, that you are going to save people, God. I thank you, God, for those who may have walked away, God, that they're going to come home this weekend, God. And Father God, I just ask, Lord, that you can just continue, Lord, to cover us, God. Continue to give us health, Lord. Continue to give us strength, God. And Lord, allow us to have this time to be able to meditate and to really Think about what you did on this cross, Lord. Let us, Lord, not be busy this weekend, but Lord, to be able to just sit and reflect on you and what you did on the cross, God. And Father God, I just thank you, God, for just being so good, Lord. I thank you, God, for your mercy, Lord. I thank you, God, for your grace, God. I thank you, God, that we were dead in, when we were dead in our sins, God, that you saved us and you rescued us, Lord. And I just ask, God, that you be with us tonight, God. I ask, Lord, that when we end this time together, God, that you will still just stir in our hearts, God that we will still reflect on you, God. And Father, I just praise you and I honor you for who you are and your sacrifice that you made for us. In Jesus' name, yes. amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Amen, amen. Guys, thank you so much for such an awesome experience. Thank you, Pastor Robert. Thank you, Pastor Latricia, for just joining us together thank you for everybody who has been online uh, following along thank you for engaging yeah. thank you for sharing guys uh this is what it's about it's yeah. about yeah. family it's about reconciliation by bringing the body together that's what christ did for us he united all of us no matter where we're from no matter where we're watching from no matter how we vote no matter how whatever we yeah. have been united in jesus yeah. christ what unites us is so much bigger than what separates that and yeah. that's the cross yeah. in yes. jesus christ and the resurrection hey guys resurrection sunday is this Sunday. Yes. Yes. Easter We're so excited. Sunday. I am so pumped that 
even though we don't, I'm, I'm sad because I really want to be with you guys. I want to be high-fiving. I know we all, Pastor Robert, we, we want to be hugging on people and loving on people yeah. and just celebrating Easter together. But God has given us the opportunity to utilize technology so we can still engage. So guys, I want to invite you out. Relevant Church Grand Rapids, yes. Relevant Church Now. Yeah. Big shout out to Relevant Church Riverside. Yes. We're all having Easter online Easter experiences. So I know here at Relevant uh, Niles, it's 930, 1130, and 5 p.m. Pastor Robert, tell us about Grand Rapids. What time are services? We're, we're at 10 a.m., 12 noon, and at 5 p.m. You can yeah. tune in at um, relevantchurchgr.com slash Easter online or on our Facebook, YouTube. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> everything. Get on there, like, do share, everything. you know, Whatever start you watch parties. Social, we're available. <laughs> do it all. Do it all. Yeah. Do it all. Guys, again, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. God bless you. And hey, we're going to close it out like we close out every time we gather with Relevant Church on the count of three. I'm going to go up. One, two, three. Relevant, Relevant Church. Church. May you learn to passionately follow Jesus. Love across, across boundaries. And, and make, make a tangible difference in our, in our, community, our region, region, in our world. God bless you guys. Happy God Good bless Friday. you. Have a, Have a great night. night. Peace. Peace. Love Peace.